guys, welcome back to A-Level Lessons. Oops, alright, welcome back to our Human Geography series. Today we're going to be looking at our last population resource theorist, and that is going to be none other than David Harvey. Alright, so David Harvey, he basically also has a different set of views as to how population and resources interact. So in this video, we're going to be covering on what his views were exactly. So who is David Harvey? Right, David Harvey is a or was a Marxist economic geographer. Okay, he's a Marxist economic geographer and distinguished professor of geography and anthropology. Right, it's good to know that he is someone. Right, Marx is basically another set, another theorist. Okay, so he kind of like um is in line with this whole uh, Marxist theory that we'll discover later on. Right, so take note that he was an economic geographer. So what is the Marxist theory? So the Marxist theory basically stated that production is characterized by the private ownership of production, right? whereby the extraction of surplus value is solely for the owning class. So any sort of value that is gained from production is only going to be value added onto those who are actually owning, for instance, this company or the other richer minorities. So pr production is basically the for the purpose of capital accumulation and wage-based labor. So this looks at capitalism as a whole in general and how it actually affects the various uh, people and, and, and all. Right, so in today's society, we see this behavior common amongst the TNCs, so your transnational corporations. Right, you can link this to Team 2.1, right, which states that there are basically two outcomes of this issue of capitalism and uh, this whole issue of this private ownership of production, which is basically that there is an over-accumulation of goods that are produced due to fewer buyers, as well as the over-exploitation of the nature, or, I mean of the environment and nature. Right? So the two outcomes to this basically is seen as negatives. Right, We have the over-accumulation of goods that only goes to the richer minorities and the over-exploitation of resources, right, that is used to produce these goods. So David Harvey brought to light the, this, this idea of spatial fix, right? What is spatial fix? So I want you guys to break it up, okay? Spatial, we always think of spatial as space, right? It looks at space, how is space different across different areas, right? We look at fix as potentially something that, you know, when you fix something, means that it is to do a certain work to it, right? So spatial fix looks at when there is one organization or one set of people, one group of uh, people, okay, or a company that goes to another area. So this idea of space, right, it is transcending space to actually gain the necessary resources to solve its own immediate problems in its own area, Right, that it has no access to, right? These resources, they may not have it in their own country, for example, or either that to pursue their economic desires. So spatial fix looks at how one group looks to find a solution by traveling somewhere else to exploit the resources over there. So it shows that capitalism would not survive without being geographically expansionary, without different companies traveling to different areas to exploit resources, which you realize is very common in the case of TNCs, right? And we will learn later on, resource curse, we learned that a lot of these TNCs, they go to resource-rich countries which may lack the necessary policies or the necessary companies to operate in them. And we wind up having a lot of these TNCs exploit the resources over there. So this can lead to over-exploitation of nature and environment, leading to degradation, which takes place, or um, a, a scarcity of resources as well. Okay, it, re it reduces the amount of resources available. So this can lead to the collapse of the global economy and the environment, right? namely in the sense that when we keep moving to a different country, when we keep moving to a different geographical location to exploit resources, what happens is that we deplete the amount of resources in the area. And at the same time, this will lead to further reductions in, let's say, their economic growth. It, it, they are unable to progress as fast. 
right? And it's just a never-ending cycle. Once the resources over there are depleted, then this group will move to another country or another area to continue the same exploitation. So it's a re- re- repeated cycle that will, over time, accumulate to actually destroy the environment as well as the entire economy. So spatial fakes in simple terms for those of you guys who are still complicated, it's basically like taking over and eating up more land, right, in order to fix yourself. Okay, fix issues that you have. It leaves the land scarce of resources and there's a vicious cycle that causes an increased uh, rate of depletion of resources. So we move on to temporal fix. This is also another idea that David Harvey brought forth, okay, that tem- temporal fix is an issue that is occurring in this population resource conflict, right? So Temporal Fix looks at the idea that while technology can expand our current resource base, especially when consumption is reduced, this may not be sustained in the long term. And the reason is that it revolves around the idea that everything is temporary, whether it's land, nature, and even technology, and it will fade in the long run as global resources deplete. So Temporal Fix looks at how, yes, we may have constantly new ideas, right, new innovations that aim to reduce the issue of a depletion in our resource base. But over time, even with no matter how many innovations you have, overall resources are still going to be used up to even produce these technology, these innovation processes. So we're still going to be eating on resources. Resources are still going to be depleted. And in the long run, there isn't going to be a difference because we cannot get these resources back, right? They are finite. So this is a way to look at it, right? There's only one earth. As we keep eating chunks of the earth to produce even new technology, we are still, I mean, as a matter of fact, we're still just taking that resource, right? It's still going to deplete the overall amount of resources on the planet. So it's a bit of a narrow view because it doesn't look at the fact that with a lot of new innovations, you can actually increase and create new food stuff, for example, new materials, right? So this is what Temporal Fix looks at. It looks at time in the long run. So the benefits to David Harvey's theory is that, yes, it is somewhat relevant, right? Because we always see a lot of TNCs being the driving force behind land and labor exploitation, right? For example, in the resource-rich industries. So this shows that Spatial fix is indeed true of the capitalist society. On the other hand, the limitations is that it is indeed a rather pessimistic outlook. Right? David Harvey doesn't really adopt a very optimistic view. He believes that in the long run, our resources are all going to run out either way. Right? So it's focused on highly a uh, focus highly on the fact that capital has turned environmental issues into profit making opportunities, which may not always be true in reality. Right, especially with a lot of NGOs, IOs that have come out today to look at all of these environmental issues which is seen to be increasing in today's society. And lastly, that nature is always viewed as a capital, right, as a form of capital, and that it is only used for production and value it are adding to goods. Right, in reality, capital can be used to help people, right? It can be used as a healthcare tool to provide free healthcare to people. So there's a lot of different other viewpoints that David Harvey did not really take into account, which narrows his scope down and hence causes this issue of why David Harvey's theory does not really apply to today's society. So for your exam requirements, you just need to be able to explain the Marxist theory I understand the ideas of spatial fix and temporal fix, along with any sort of the benefits and limitations that may come with it. Right, so you may also require to compare to other theories, such as Esther Bosrup and Thomas Melters in essay writing, which I've already covered on this channel. So you can go and check those out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And that is all for this part on David Harvey. I know it's a bit of a... I would say it's more of an interesting topic okay, because David Harvey is really looking at certain issues of our capitalist system that we may or may not acknowledge. Right? So if you did find this video helpful, you can go ahead and leave a like. It really does help me out a lot. As well as to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and leave any comments in the section, comment section below if you have any questions. Right? So if not, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.